In this video, I explain MCQ's questions about statistical inference. This is part 3 and first two parts links you can find in description. If you are new on my channel Statisticians Club, please subscribe the channel. Now we start. Question number 1. When confidence coefficient gets nearer 100%, the confidence interval will be widen, constant, shorter. The right answer is widen. Because as we close to 100%, its confidence limit or interval will be widen. Question number 2. The choice of method used in constructing the confidence depends upon normality, information of sigma square, sample size, all above. The right answer is all above. Because for the construction of confidence interval, it will depends upon the normality information of sigma square and the sample size. Based on these three criteria, we decide which confidence methods we used. Question number three. Finite population correction factor can be ignored if when sample size is less than 5% of population size, sampling is done with replacement from finite population, sampling is done without replacement from an infinite population. All above. The right answer is all above. Because in all these three conditions, we can ignore finite population correction factor. Question number four. An unbiased estimator is defined to be efficient if the variance of its sampling distribution is smaller than that of the sampling distribution of any other unbiased estimator of same parameter. If two distributions have same parameters and the variance of sampling distribution is smaller than the sampling distribution of any, any other estimator, then it is this is this property is called efficiency question number five there are two unbiased estimators t1 and t2 both same parameter theta then t1 will be more efficient estimator than t2 if variance of t1 less than variance of t2 in such condition t1 will be more efficient than t2 Question number 6. The criteria for comparing different unbiased estimator of a parameter is Efficiency is equal to variance of T2 over variance of T1 greater than 1. So this is the criteria for comparing the to check the efficiency of unbiased estimator. Question number 7. The sample mean and median of normal distributions are unbiased and consistent. Sample mean and sample median of normal distribution are unbiased and consistent. Variance of sampling distribution of sample mean is sigma square over n. Question number 9. The variance of sampling distribution of sample median is pi sigma square over 2n. This is the right answer. Pi sigma square over 2n is the variance of sampling distribution of sample median. The efficiency of sample mean relative to sample median is 175%, which means, which is the meaning of this statement that sample mean relative to sample median is 157%. The sample mean calculated from a sample size 100 can do the same job as the sample median calculated from a sample of size 157. An unbiased estimator theta cap has smaller variance than any other unbiased estimator then it is called minimum variance unbiased estimator of theta. The unbiased estimator have minimum variance is called best or more efficient estimator of theta. The variance of an estimator that cannot become smaller than a certain lower bound and the variance equal to lower bound is called minimum variance. 
then this result is given by kramer row inequality so kramer row inequality the variance of any any estimator cannot become smaller than a certain lower bound and variance equal to this lower bound is called the minimum variance and this is called the kramer row inequality this is the statement of kramer row inequality Question number fourteen: An estimator theta cap that is linear, unbiased, and has minimum variance among all linear unbiased estimator of theta is called best linear unbiased estimator (BLUE). Both A and B. The right answer is both A and B because BLUE mean is best linear unbiased estimator. This is the abbreviation of best linear unbiased estimator. Question number fifteen: Expected value of the square difference between estimator and the true value of that parameter is mean square error. The efficiency of biased estimator of theta is compared on the basis of mean square error. Biased estimator's efficiency is checked on the basis of mean square error. mean square error of theta cap is equal to variance of estimator plus squared by mean square error of theta cap is equal to variance of estimator plus squared by we prefer a biased estimator which gives smaller mean square error among our biased estimator we prefer which biased estimator which has smaller mean square error question number 19 Ninety-five percent confidence limit for mu is x bar plus minus one point nine six sigma over under ten. This is the ninety-five percent confidence limit for mu. Ninety-five percent confidence limit for proportion is p cap plus minus one minus one point nine six under p square q square over n, and this is the limit in case of two tail test. Because we have 0.05 level of significance, and in two-tailed test, its value is 1.96. Expected value of x1 bar minus x2 bar is equal to mu1 minus mu2. Which of the following is a necessary condition for using a t-distribution? Small sample size, unknown sigma square. The interval estimates of a population mean with large sample size and non-standard deviation is x bar plus minus z minus one minus alpha over two sigma over under ten. By increasing n, the length of confidence interval for mu is decreases. As we increase the sample size, the length of confidence interval for mu is decrease. By decreasing n. the length of confidence interval for mu is increases thanks for watching if you want to see videos on mcqs questions about probability about normal distribution about analysis of variance and non parametric test then please click the link in front of your screen thanks for watching